A Palestinian delegation accompanied by international law experts traveled to the UN's highest court in The Hague, taking the first step towards, they hope, stopping one of the world's longest and bloodiest occupations. For the first time in its history, the International Court of Justice will have to rule on the legality of Israel's confiscation of Palestinian land. Opening the oral hearings, the Palestinian foreign minister described Israel's occupation as a system of apartheid that has turned Palestinians into second-class citizens. For over a century, the inalienable right of the Palestinian people to self-determination has been denied and violated. Palestine was not a land without a people. It was not. As Israeli leaders have described it, a wasteland. There was life on this land. The only solution consistent with international law is for this illegal occupation to come to an immediate, unconditional and total end. Israel captured the West Bank, Gaza and East Jerusalem in 1967. Areas of historic Palestine, which Palestinians want for a state. Armed with maps, Malki showed the court how over the decades Israel has confiscated Palestinian land. Israel wanted the, uh, the geography of Palestine, but not its demography. So it kept pushing our people out, out of their homes, out of their land. Here is the fifth map. It was displayed by Israel's Prime Minister to the General Assembly last September. He called this the new Middle East. This is no, there is no Palestine at all on this map. Paul Reichler, a U.S. lawyer who has regularly argued cases at the ICJ, said it's clear Israel has no intention to ever leave the land. Whatever offenses against international law Israel commits, the United States comes forward to shield it from accountability. This case is different to the one of genocide South Africa filed. Last month, the UN Highest Court ordered Israel to stop all potential genocidal acts in Gaza. Another decision by this court, although non-binding, to stop the unlawful occupation of Palestinian land will carry moral authority and will further increase international pressure on the government of Benjamin Netanyahu. More than 50 countries will present submissions in the coming days. Step fast on Al Jazeera, The Hague. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.